morning. I hope everyone had a great Mother's Day for all you moms out there. Today I'm sitting with Victor's mom, Gretchen, and my mom, Jenny. So this should be an interesting, good episode. And we're going to do our regular a mother-daughter production um, there where we talk about everything and nothing all at the same time. Yep, and my mom's got some uh, topics for us today. And then also I did ask the listeners just for some questions. I haven't gone through them yet, but at the end I'll ask Gretchen some of your guys' questions that you had and then if you had any for my mom or myself. I think they're mostly for you, though, Gretchen. Oh, my God. They probably, <laughs> they probably know... We they hear us all the time, so they yeah. know they know just about everything. But um, what was it gonna? Oh, I was gonna say yes, yes. It is Monday, and we are late again. And I feel like this podcast is just like my life. Always, it gets done, but always late. Procrastination. <laughs> but but we get there. It's just. Not I think it's done. fine, Mom. I don't think the listeners would even know if you didn't say it all the time. They do because they're already probably asking, looking for it to come out, and it's not going to come out today. Well, right? for, from now on, we'll, it's just going to come out whenever. It's fine. Okay. So, what's our first topic today? Oh, we can talk about Mother's Day and how everybody celebrates Mother's Day and what Mother's Day means to you. Okay. Well, this was my first Mother's Day, um, and now that I am a mom, I feel like Mother's Day is. A lot more, like, I feel like I always celebrated, I feel like I celebrated you pretty good throughout the years, do you think? Yes. Like, giving you cards and presents and letting you do what, she usually wants to go get flowers. And now that I'm a mom, I'm like, it's it's a big deal. I feel like it's really special. Yeah, and I try to make sure she knew that, that it was her first Mother's Day, Um because it's it's exciting. Mm-hmm. I got my two kids and I got the other grandkids, but this baby is, the, oh my goodness. Yeah, she's <laughs> she's spending the week up here with um, Arrow and really trying to like get some bonding time because Arrow's, now that he's 10 months, he's kind of stuck in like his ways where he feels like, okay, he wants his mom and he wants his dad and then he sees my mom and dad a lot and he's starting to get used to my brother and now I feel like right when he's going to warm up to Gretchen she's gonna have to leave but then she'll be back and we'll see her in Puerto Rico as well but um in this Mother's Day we we all went out to dinner it was like 18 of us is that what it was but there were 19 in the high chair and it was it was hard because it was a long table and it was really hard to visit with anybody yeah exactly I didn't get to talk to really my grandma or my aunt much but um it was so cool to all be there the food was really good and then after that, we went fishing in our pond. I will say that my favorite, so the gift that I got from, I'm kind of all over the place right now. I'll talk about it, then we'll go around and have everyone kind of talk about it from their perspective. But, um, like, the there's this little cute, if you go on my Instagram, you can see what Arrow made me. Uh, Gretchen and my mom, I think my mom went to Bad X and then she got all the stuff and then them two made it together for me with Arrow's hand and it's so cute and so sweet and that's good. That's like my favorite gift ever and then also he was wearing a cute onesie that like had, hey, you're doing a good job mom or mommy and mommy and Arrow and then a picture of both of us which was really sweet. And then we, um, I think that was my favorite part of the day were those surprises because they were really cute. And I didn't have to go to BedEx to get anything. It was just stuff that I, we oh, had. Oh, you had I, it. Not, we don't have to get anything. Oh, oh could, yeah. Just I got, thought you had to get the frame maybe. Guess where I found that frame in your closet unused. She has <laughs> so much stuff here. I thought that might And it's a really a nice frame, but she has like a whole closet full of frames. I said to Gretchen, I said, I'm going to go look in the closet. We'll find a frame. Because I actually did go to look for a frame, but that one... This one that we used was perfect. It was a nice one, and she likes to hang nice frames in her um, house, and I could just find, like, the cheaper ones when I was looking. Oh, that's why it looks so nice. Yeah, but the paint, (laughs) um, like, we had paint, like, all our craft bin. I just dug in the craft bin. It was like, oh, jeepers. I waited till the day before, and I'm like, I still haven't used made anything with Arrow yet, but Arrow loved it. He loved getting the paint pushed on his hand and took both of us to make sure he didn't, like, touch everything, but we got her done, and then... Yeah, it was easy and it's really really cute. Mm-hmm. And I'll uh, and I'll, I'll have that forever and just hang it on the wall. Timeless, timeless piece of art. Yeah, yeah, because it will grow up and everything will be different again. Yes. So yes. yeah, that was awesome. 
And, and, I, like, and I think he's going to be fine. Gretchen, you do FaceTime him a lot. So now that you yeah. are here, you just got to continue to FaceTime him a couple times a week. And the next time you see him, it won't be so. He's he's fine with me. As long as one, uh, Victor or Nicole or you are holding him. I, I understand that because he like he normally see me through the FaceTime, mm-hmm. which is not one-on-one. And I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. He smiles on me. He plays yeah. with me. And I'm happy with that. It will get to a time when oh, I can, sure. like, it's going to be closer. But yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Oh, I think especially breastfed babies are like that. Because uh, Victor's sister, Ashley, said that her youngest boy, Liam, was like that until he was, I don't know, two or three or something. But that's, uh, I think it's just tears so used to being attached, literally attached to me all the time. And also I watch over him like a hawk so <laughs> my husband did um he said you're like the little like the chicken with the little chicks yeah. like with the wings open trying to <laughs> to cover all of them and yes you are you're, you're a great mom by, by the way thank you and so what do, what does mother's day mean to you gretchen um i think for me i have my kids so young so um to me it's like the realization that it's not just about me it was about them too you know, because you, when you're young, you just, just think, oh, I can do this, do that, the other. But when they came into the picture, it was everything about them. So my whole perspective changed. Right now, Mother's Day, have, being him with Victor, I don't need it. I didn't need a gift. For me, that was my gift, mm-hmm. seeing him, mm-hmm. which to me was like, oh, my God, Victor, you look so grown because now you got a baby and mm-hmm. you got your house and you're doing your own things. I wish I could have them both, him and Ashley, on Mother's Day with me. But, right. you know. I, sometimes I spend it with Ashley, sometimes I spend mm-hmm. it with him. It's fine. So, but yeah, um, it was like my, when Ashley was born, it was sort of my whole life changed. It wasn't any, any more about me. It was about them. And that's, that's what Mother's Day is to me. Like mm-hmm. that person that make you realize that now, mm-hmm. you know, I'm the grown up. I'm mm-hmm. the, that person, you know? It, and it's crazy because like everything has changed since I've become a mom perspective wise. And I feel like the mom does take on, like, a lot more of the role of, like, the dad's always the fun one, always the one that, like, comes up with the cool ideas. And then I feel like I'm always the one that's going to be like, all right, well, do this, but put a helmet on and do this. And no, you can't do that. And so I think, like, also I'm always uh, on high alert now, too, all the time. So, I mean, maybe next, maybe Mother's Day should be a day where... We can relax a little more. Because Gretchen was laughing because she had a cook on Mother's Day one year. Was that last year? Mm-hmm. And then this year we find ourselves, we're laugh- she, we were laughing in the kitchen. We're like, <laughs> us three moms were cooking cooking the guy's dinner last yeah. night. Like, it's always, it always happens, even if you try not to. I think that we're just, you know, we're, we take care of everybody around us. And that's how I feel, like, the same way Gretchen does about Mother's Day. It's just... Yeah, my two best gifts are my kids. I don't need anything else. Just even like yesterday, we're, here's Nicole sitting across from me when we're eating. And I had maybe three sips of my margarita. And she's like, Mom, you have a buzz. You're feeling good. And I said, I'm not feeling good. I'm happy because my kids are both here. Like, it's it's just nice. She was I like talking to, out of the side of her mouth. I But <laughs> three sips. And I was looked at her like, are you crazy? But it's just nice to just... And I'm with my kids a lot. So, I mean... Like, I am with them a lot, but it just, I like, that's the only time I don't have my phone on high alert because I'm just such a high alert mom that if one of my kids isn't with me, my phone's right by my side. If I have my kids with me, like when we're in Frankenmuth, I can leave it in the room for 24 yeah. hours and not check it. Like, I love mm-hmm. that. Like, that's and I'm, nice. And I don't need my phone ever if I have my kids with me. And so that just makes me feel more content like and I was sitting there reading and I didn't know what to do I seen all the Mother's Day posts on Facebook Instagram and I was gonna post something and I'm just like you know what I'm not gonna do it I just enjoyed the moment enjoyed I loved reading everybody else's though and I loved like when I you know just the different things that everybody said and what it means to them and you know the like I don't know but I just wanted to just keep mine to myself yesterday and, and that was does it crazy. hurt your does it Okay, so I didn't do like this big elaborate post for you yesterday, but I, I'm to the point where I feel like I, um, do posts for you though kind of randomly sometimes. But I, I kind of feel like you and I are so close, and we spend every day. And Gretchen's been able to see our little, um, what do you call them? Little fights here. Little tips. <laughs> well, yeah. So, um, 
I see no. my I see my mom every day. I tell her how much I love her and thankful for her, even though we get in little arguments here or there that are, but we're like literally like I don't know, so 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 close that I just felt like no, I, I do wasn't, not need no public okay. post. That's that that kind I of stuff. I was just making sure because you never been like that I, well, before. But then I I know like I see everybody else's and I'm like oh shoot no like, because I that's the same way I have my mom I didn't put a post like that but you know I love but my you mom know, yeah yes I mean it's just I don't I she knows and no I mean sometimes I do do I'm just randomly out of the blue but. No, I don't need that kind of stuff. I know. Well, some my- people love that, though. Some people are like, you didn't freaking put on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pissed. I'm, I'm a very private. I, I, I don't hardly post on Facebook. Yeah. I, I called my mom yesterday. Yeah. I talked to her. I talked to Ashley because she got mm-hmm. plenty of kids over there. Right. She's like, Mom, I was so nice. You know, she got a lot of candles, which she loves. So once I talked to her and I talked to my mom and my mother, I love, of course, because yeah. that's the first person I call in the morning. So, yeah, I was happy. I, I don't have to post anything. I'm not. I'm kind of shy in that sense. Yeah. And I, OK, so and what's weird is like sometimes I feel like I do posts online for if somebody's like, OK, I know that's important to them. Right. But for my mom and like even you, I'm like. I don't think that, like, they're going to care either way. But I guess I just thought this was a g- good time to bring it up since you mentioned Facebook. So yeah. there is a lot of nice, beautiful posts on there. And mm-hmm. a lot of, I saw a lot of first moms. And I feel like I didn't even get to, like, get, we had such a busy day yesterday. I'm laying in bed nursing arrow. It's, like, 9 o'clock. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I have pictures I didn't post. And I'm just, like, throwing something together. And then Victor posts right after me. And I wouldn't even have cared if he didn't post me or anything. And then, and then I read these long, beautiful posts. I'm like, dang it, I should have put more time and thought well, yeah, into it. Yeah, and, and, and it made me think. Actually, I really liked the post because it made me think how lucky I was. Because mm-hmm. some of the posts I read were about people who this is the first year they don't have their mom with them. And missing that. Or they haven't had their mom in a long time or a mom at all. Or they themselves were trying to become a mom. And mm-hmm. this is, they worked at it for years and they actually ha- have children now. They had a child and... They actually get to celebrate Mother's Day and how important it was to them, and then ones that are still trying, and mm-hmm. you know. So I mean, it read every to every, you know. It was just nice to like read them, and it was just like it made me think a lot because, like, mm-hmm. yeah, my dad died when I was young, so now when it comes Father's Day, I will celebrate Dave, and I'm so used to not having, you know, because it's been so long since mm-hmm. I've had a dad. Um, since you have a, a dad, dad alive, yeah. yes. So I'm eight years old, so. It's been a long, long time, but it's just, you know, it makes you just, like, think about everybody else. So it was, yeah, I l- enjoyed reading them. Yeah, no, and that is, like, it's, that's, like, it's sad when you think about all the different perspectives. Because then I never want to hurt someone's feelings either by, I remember some, I remember last year there was a post going around that was really good that was, like, Mother's Day actually can hurt, like, cause some people some hurt. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, like my mom said, all those different reasons. And they're just, like, I just want to avoid the day. and. And I totally see that too, and and uh, I, and I'm I'm sorry if that's kind of how your Mother's Day was, and so we'll change the topic now into something else in case. Well, yeah, we just right? well, th- yeah, this is kind of a, the same but different. The geese, she has one set of geese out in her pond that has seven babies, and one that has four babies. I think the four babies were born like a day or two before. For the seven, because I saw them first, but we were really disturbing their Mother's Day yesterday because mm-hmm. we were down by the pond and it was kind of funny. So wherever we went, they're going, and the pond is huge, but they were, but we had the golf cart out there and everything, so they were just taking off. And I actually, it was kind of funny, but I love. I'm gonna keep giving geese updates until we don't see them anymore because every day when I come to her house is usually between seven thirty and eight when I pull in the driveway and. At that time, there's a, the neighbor is a pond too, so they're always crossing. So I have to wait like way back because I don't want them to feel like I'm invading. And it's just cute to watch them go, and they're like a little bit bigger every day. I read, I looked up some geese facts this morning, just randomly because I wanted to learn more about them, mm. and I also want to research more. So they're actually the Canadian geese because I was wondering what type of geese we have, and that they do. I see them in pairs of two, and I was like, they have to like date for life, and they do unless. They try to have kids two times and they're um, unsuccessful. Then they'll kind of split up and oh, go really? find different mates. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and well, these ones were successful, so they're mates for life. And then um, it says that a wild ge- this type can live up to forty years old, but they can live only as little as eight to twenty, depending because they're wild. But basically, um, 
it was it was interesting in that the babies grow very fast, and we've already seen them grow a lot. They said they're going to be in ten weeks. They're going to be able to fly, but they're already mm-hmm. growing like tremendous. It's crazy. They're going to be as big as them, I think, pretty soon. Yeah, because the first day when I seen the the second set. I didn't, I, me and Dave were driving in and I just saw the feet and it looked like the feet, like the webbed feet, like the feet were moving, but that's how small they were. They were right by the feet. Now they look like baby chicks. Yeah. 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 They're like, but that's still little, but I mean, they grew a lot from. And then they eat just like, I don't know. I guess I can't really even remember. I was trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out, I have a lot of fish in the pond. So I'm trying to figure out (laughs) how to make their lives a little better, make the geese lives a little better, even though they poop everywhere. (laughs) <laughs> then, there was a lot of there. Yeah, I like to be bare feet, and I took mm-hmm. my shoes off down there, and there was a lot of poop down there. Yeah, so I, I mean, ugh, anyways. But it's right by the water, but it was, yeah, it was kind of, I'm like, oop, Arrow's not going to be crawling around by the pond. Well, you can't crawl by the pond anyways, but I mean, yeah. even up closer where they cross over or anything. Mm-hmm. This episode is brought to you by Truebill, and if you watch my Instagram, you know I've been using Truebill since the new year to help save money. Um, Basically, what do you think that you spend on subscriptions each month? Most of you would probably think around $80 a month, but really you spend closer to $200. So Truebill is a new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. On average, people are saving thousands a year with Truebill. You can see all your subscriptions in one place, keep the ones you want, and cancel the ones you don't right from the app. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't have to. No talking to humans, no difficult conversations, and they actually negotiate your bills. They they brought down one of my bills by itself. It's crazy. I love Truebill. It saved me lots of money, and they also have a smart savings account that I use. Um, you can withdraw the money at any time. But it's good just to kind of set aside uh, and I just kind of live as if it's not there. So Truebill has over 2 million users and helped them save over $100 million. So right now you can start canceling your unused subscriptions at Truebill.com slash Coco. Go right now and do Truebill.com. Um, the code is Coco. It'll save you hundreds a year. Truebill.com slash Coco. Okay, here's a question for you guys and for everybody. When you look have clothes in your closet, do you mostly always buy the same color of clothes? Is do you like tend to go to the same color in your wardrobe? I will say for me, yes. I like the pastel colors and black. So <laughs> that's mm-hmm. what I I have uh, mostly in my closet. Now that I live in Puerto Rico, I should buy something more tropical, but I still go back mm-hmm. to those pastel colors. Mm-hmm. And what about you? Everything is very vibrant and colorful. So if I wear it once, I feel like everyone knew, knows and it's just like it's fine. But now I'm repeating stuff, but it's very like obvious. Does that make sense? Maybe bright pink dress with yellow polka dots or something. But yeah, and I don't really have uh, a lot of neutral colors at all. And I wear and I like go towards the black and it's supposed to be slimmer. You're supposed to look slimmer. And I like like the neutral, like the beige. But now I've found, and it is just weird because it was never my color, but I am starting to buy a lot of pink clothes. And I don't know where that's coming from. But It's probably coming from me and but, Franny and the Fox. But I have been buying <laughs> yeah. pink clothes. Okay, another question. Is there a certain color your husband likes you to wear? Um... I don't think so. I think he likes red. Oh, that's what yeah, my dad that's, Yeah, likes. that's me. That's exactly. Anything I'm going to buy or if I wear something red, he's like, ooh, that looks you're good. wearing red. <laughs> yeah, he's just red, red. So what is, does your, Matt, what is, what about Victor? Or does he have never think, said? I don't think he has a color that. Mm. So yeah, I'm going to ask you guys, listeners too, and you can write it down. Is there a color that you prefer and a color your man prefers to see your, or your partner prefers to see you in? Mm-hmm. So I was wondering, but yeah, it's, and I'm not a red person. I don't wear red. If I buy red, it's only because I know Dave likes it. It's not because I choose red for myself. Well, I I do like the way I look in red, but like if I go out at night, not like during the day or regular, yeah. like if we're going out to a club or something like that, yes. I, I, I look at myself and oh yeah, I look sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so, is red a sexy color? I think like, so. And, and, and Dave does not like when I wear black and that's so funny. Oh, because, really? No, and I like to wear black. He like he likes the more... Dad likes colorful clothes. Yes. Dad's cl- Dad has lots of the tropical button down shirts with the collar. Like that's his go-to, I think. Yeah. Um, he likes colorful things. Victor likes all black. 
all black everything. I can't, I can't even tell. Like, uh, I remember when I first, remember when we f- he first moved up here, his black skinny jeans. Yeah, which you probably knew about. <laughs> yeah. He just could barely fit those things on his leg, but he bought like five pairs, <laughs> one pair every single day. Now he does not wear those anymore. Um, I don't know why. Well, that's what made me think about this. <laughs> I wrote this on my list like a few weeks ago because. I was looking for a certain black tank top, and I went through like 50 articles of clothing. They were all black. and never found that tank top. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I have way too many black clothes because I'm like, oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Went through everything. Never did find it. Well, I did find it today, actually. And then another thing, I'm a dress person. I can wear dresses all day, every day. Um, I hardly wear pants now because here is, for, for me, this weather is freezing. <laughs> I know Nicole keeps telling me, are you going to wear a jacket? I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah, and she kept asking me yesterday, like, what did you ask me? The one time I had shorts on the one time, yeah. I, and I kept my dress on the whole time we fished yesterday because that dress was so comfy. I could wear dresses all the time, too, if it's nice out. I like to wear, they're just way more comfortable, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. And yeah. I never was a dress person until this last few years. And and I never mm-hmm. noticed until, like, lately, I've been going to the store and buying clothes, and I'm like, oh, my God, I got a lot of dresses. But then I, I love the way, like, I feel in them, like, I like dresses yeah they are they're just they're they are comfortable I, I love to wear dresses too but we don't I don't wear them you know up here in the wind you know it's only a like three month time you yeah. know that I really wear dresses but I do like to wear dresses too yeah are you getting a couple questions you I, was gotta just, ask? I was just reading to see see do you want me to ask a couple yeah you can ask a couple okay so um Okay, let's see. Is Victor really, I mean, I could answer this, but we'll see what Gretchen has to say. Okay. Is Victor really um, a neat, they said neatness fanatic like he seemed on Big Brother? <laughs> Had you seen me, Nicole? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes, he is. And I think that has to do something with me because I'm the same way. Mm-hmm. I have to have everything organized and... Uh, put away where he's supposed to be yeah yeah so he is he's he's yes. like really really neat and where i me and my mom are different i like i just organized chaos is fine with me so me and victor are always kind of trying to find a common ground there and and i think victor is very neat but i don't think a lot of it is organized to me because he puts things in the most random spots out of sight, out of mind. He, he likes it oh, just yeah. out. So you can't, he likes to hide things. So yeah. you look in the cupboards and they're not even in. It's not organized. It's, it's just not even out in, of sight. Yeah. Like everything's not even where it Like should if there be. was a big closet, he'd just throw everything in, in there. Yeah. No, but I'm I mean, not like that. <laughs> yeah. So like you, it's really hard to find like, say like the bowls, like lid. the bowls should be in with the, yeah, the bowls and lids should be with the bowls and lids. They could be in the laundry room and in those cupboards because there's a lot of cupboards. No, in he told house. me there. He told me that the lid to that Tupperware container is probably in a storage bin in the garage. I'm like, what the heck? No, but no. But <laughs> I'm saying like even like if I'm looking for like I cannot find the crock pot here. I've been looking for the crock pot for how long now? Like three weeks. I saw it. Where? In the laundry room. Oh, see, like he <laughs> in the closet. I, he That's hides, hilarious. He hides things all the time, and like I cannot find them. I'm like, okay, I give up, and so then I just cook it into something else or do whatever I'm doing. But I like it, the, the kitchen stuff to go in the kitchen, the kitchen. cupboards, and the, yeah, and this one cupboard that they have there, I which I'm gonna get. I want to go through out. every single. I do want to go through every single room this spring. I just. Because everything is, I don't know where anything is. I don't. Mm-hmm. They have this one cupboard with, like, say the cups that you put with the lids on them. What are those called? Like Brewmates coffee and cups and tumblers. Bre- yeah. They have a whole, did you see that whole cupboard that just has them in there? All the lids are in there and they're not on the cups and they're all over. Oh my gosh. I look in that cupboard and I'm like, what are we doing with this cupboard? She I just moved in. Though. So we got to, we got to um, go through. But yes, he does put everything where you don't see it, but. So like my so like cleaning for I feel like for a guy is different than a girl kind of because if I'm gonna clean something I'll just like deep clean it and spend a couple hours. Where my dad is the same way where he'll just like put it all in a pile and then hide the pile. No, Dave's way different than Victor. Dave. No, actually, Dad used to do that with laundry baskets. No, Dad's way worse. He this is what he does that drives me crazy. He literally. <laughs> If he has eight sweatshirts, he wants to see them all at the same time. So he lays That's them true. on the back of the couch, like in the basement, all next to each other like soldiers. He don't put any. <laughs> <laughs> he 
<laughs> you don't even know how many today. That's what I'm trying to work on right now. I bought this yeah. nine cubicle thing I got to mm. put together with those fold out drawers. And I'm going to, I'll write on the outside if he wants it. He wants to know where, he wants everything in sight. Like if yeah, I, he does. Like literally he likes certain things. So if he's throwing something down the chute, he wants it back right away. And he'll be like, I'm throwing my towel down. Okay, we have 80 other towels. He wants me to wash that <laughs> towel and he wants that towel back. Like he likes his stuff. Like he doesn't like drawers. He likes to leave it all. <laughs> so he's opposite of Victor in that way. Yeah, I guess. I guess. He leaves everything out. He like, you can't put the coffee cups but in Dad the cupboard. Cl- I couldn't see dad cleaning the kitchen. No, but you can't even put his coffee cup in the cupboard. It has to sit on the counter next to the coffee pot. Like yeah. he likes his stuff. Easy acts. He says I hide things. If he can't find the oranges because they're in the drawer, I have to get it out and put it oh, there. Oh, is that why you don't put everything in your fridge? Everything's on your counters and in baskets? That's the stuff that he likes, yeah, because <laughs> he has to be able to find or his he stuff. Or he won't eat it? He'll say that I don't We don't, I don't know where it is. Someone <laughs> asked, how do I communicate with Victor's mom, Spanish or English? I uh, English. She knows English. So. A nice big Spanglish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, what was um, was it harder for you guys to raise a son or a daughter? Uh, a daughter. A daughter. Yeah. Why? I, um, Ashley. Um, I don't know. Victor was the different personalities. I guess mm-hmm. Ashley is more like in your face, like mm-hmm. tough Oops. cookie. What I call her. Mm-hmm. And Victor was most. He was quiet and easygoing. Mm, okay. So, yeah. so the personality wise. The personality wise, yes. Yeah. Yes. I like the way I could dress Ashley with the dresses and mm-hmm. the stockings. That's what I say about the girl. Yeah. Um, but you know, yeah. But she Ashley. gave you a little more trouble. Yes. Because she's like, she's strong like me. Mm-hmm. Like we're the same. And I don't know. I see you with your mom and, and you guys, you know, you're always together. But when it's um, mama and daughter and when you raise them, they're daddy's little girl. Mm hmm. You yeah. know, because that will let them do whatever when mm-hmm. the mom is more strict. And yeah, Ashley was like more strong headed than Victor. Yeah. And Dave won't, ar- Dave don't argue with Nicole, just I do, you know. But, yeah. And then you know. what about for you? The easier? It was for both of you. Yeah. Was it harder for you to raise a son or a daughter? Is When you're little, it was, you were the easier one. And now I am the easier one. Are you kidding me? Now you're a little bit the harder one. No, you're, I'm you're not. You're more needy. No, I'm not. Yeah, she's a, she is a little bit harder because he doesn't involve me as much. So no. I worry more about him. Yes. But that's that's different, though. I'm not talking about worrying. I'm just talking about, like, needing me and, like, that kind of stuff. Like, Okay, in that sense, I, uh, I now Ashley and I, we're like, once she mm-hmm. was a mom, now mm-hmm. she realized how it is, and now we're closer, like, yeah. really close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really close. But, yeah, when they were growing up, I would say Ashley. Jesse Just, was definitely the harder one growing up because he just he just always wants to do boy stuff, which is there's nothing wrong with that. But because I'm a helicopter mom, it was crazy. And now I got a little arrow to help watch over and it's like, ha, ah, not again. <laughs> like it's I just worry because they, they just want to do everything. What age was the hardest for you guys when you were raising your children? And I guess how old were the kids? Oh, it's do you really want to answer hard. this one it's first? It's really hard to remember. Like at this, you mean like what? when we were two and four, or because what's what's I funny is say, you guys both had a girl first, and two years later you guys both had a boy. So you guys have that in common. Yeah, I'd say seventeen, fifteen. Yeah, oh, that's wow. for me. When you're seventeen and Jesse's fifteen, seventeen because oh. you were getting ready to leave, so that was a really hard time for me. And that's when Jesse was testing my waters, <laughs> and then. I was really like worried, but then once Nicole left, Jesse started like being a little bit easier because he, he was the only one there, and I needed him to you know do things. But I'd say yeah, seventeen, fifteen for me. Yeah, I, I say to the uh, teenagers here, and for two things: once um, we were always overseas when like forever, and then we came to the United States when mm-hmm. Ashley was in high school, mm-hmm. which it was uh, difficult because she wasn't anymore in that military environment. She was back in normal civilization and it's hard for a teenager, you mm-hmm. know? So it was hard for her and it's, it was hard for us too. Mm-hmm. So, but once Ashley, thank God, she graduated um, and uh, we owners and she decided to go in the military, everything become easier because I said, Victor, it was always right. more, more calm. calm. Yes. 
Yeah. Victor so, so home. if so if one of you guys were to get a call, if one of if you, Gretchen, if you were to get a call from the principal, who would you bet your money on? It was because of Ashley or Victor. Ashley. Mom, if you got a call from the principal, Jesse for sure. If I've gotten them. <laughs> so you guys both had opposite experiences. That's really interesting. So nobody's safe out there. <laughs> yeah. I never got no phone calls for Nicole. <laughs> uh, Okay, and then we have a couple more. Okay, how did you guys, how did you each react when you knew that we were, like, your kid was cast on Big Brother? Who wants to go first? I was, well, I was surprised. I, like... Did you know what the show was? No. No. <laughs> and Victor Victor didn't say anything until, like, he was actually cast. He mm-hmm. wasn't in process that I was involved or... Because he, he just thought, well, if I'm not going to go on, why tell yes, anybody? Exactly. I and yes, I was surprised. I like, I would never expect it. Were you excited or were you nervous? I was both. I was, I was excited. And uh, when I realized what the show was about, I'm like, he's a really good kid. You know, mm-hmm. he likes to work out. They're going to see him as a threat and he will be out in no time. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was kind of, but he kept coming back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's so funny. What Did you give him any advice or no? Just to be himself. Yeah. Just to not change to please anybody. Just, right. just be yourself who you are. And then he ended up getting America's Favorite. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then, Mom, what about you? Yeah, I wasn't... um, It was a fast process because it went real fast and it was just a um, busy time. Because I applied the day before or whatever. Yeah. So it was like (laughs) rush, 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 get everything done. And for some reason, I was not surprised. It was just weird. It was like Mm -hmm. I was not even surprised a little bit. Well, you were with me through the whole process. It was my mom's idea for me to audition, but the fact that I got a call back... But I wasn't su- like you yeah. weren't surprised. No, I don't know why, but I should have been now because I see how hard it is. And the, but I wasn't. But I knew nothing about Twitter at that time. Nothing about um, live feeds. I had not watched any of that stuff. I didn't know. Like I knew there were spoilers that you could see sometimes, but I didn't realize it was because of there was live feeds. I don't know. I just wasn't. I just watched the show. I was just a show, so I was just so excited, and I thought she would do really well and fit in like I just I the, the hardest part was like them taking her away and putting her in the hotel I like cried the whole time when I drove down there and I never flew by myself up to that point yeah, so that was, it was I like a, it was like scary for me I was very much very sheltered up to that point I would say because we never left this small town so it mm-hmm. was a really big deal it was like really crazy yeah that I did that looking really back bad. that I did that I'm just kind of like how did I do that I still don't I still don't know how because I don't know. It was. It's a lot. And Dave didn't watch the show, so he had no no idea what was even going on. So it was just kind of like till the the last. Time. He knew by the third time I was on, though. Oh yeah, I'm talking the first time. Awesome. We're talking the very first time. He was just like, "What's she doing? Is she going on TV?" Like he was excited, but he did. He, it was just kind of funny. He oh, was, oh my god, I was calling everybody, my mother in law, my mom, everybody. And you know, in Puerto Rico, they, they were watching and they would following it and i'm like no i was looking at the live feeds and i see this this and the other <laughs> and it I, was fun didn't victor say he he applied for 16 applied for the first one nicole was on but then yeah he, he made it all that the way to finals fun. but that he would have been get funny cast. though if you guys would have met way back even the first time. i feel like it was timing was right when we met though. and i think that's why he didn't say anything the second time because right because like, he was so disappointed about that because he said he was kind of like Screw this. Da, da, da. Then he was though short hair and nerdy, and then now he was like muscles with long hair. So yeah. he changed his look. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get on muscles and long hair, I guess. <laughs> um, do you have anything else no, about you that? Can keep it. No, nothing about that. Okay, let's see. What is your? What's one of your favorite memories um, of your oh, favorite memory of your child as an infant or toddler? kind of hard question you guys have so many memories can you think of something maybe a trip that you took oh Gretchen shared a funny story about where you she's like Nicole what are you saying (laughs) (laughs) no about I was thinking but this is about how she thought she booked this like luxurious hotel and it ended up just it was a good memory still but it was not what the description said (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay, we were living in Italy and uh, <clears throat> MWR, which is the um, like a recreation thing for the military, uh, have this um, 
streets. They they already book for you. You just choose which one which one you want to buy. So it was like agrigento, which means it's like you go like a farm, and it says that you can ride horses and that you can ride bicycles, mountain bikes, and it looks really cozy. So I'm like, okay. So I book <laughs> it up, and this is what I told my kids. I said, hey, and we're going to this agrigento, and this is going to be an experience that you never forget. <laughs> Exactly what I said. We get there. <laughs> it was like a cabin. The It was cool. And to, to hit the cabin, you had to put like wood. In the wood stove. In the wood stove. <laughs> and um, they like, the kids were like, okay, mom, we want to ride the bicycles. The lady shows the bicycle. It was like a piece of metal that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> All rusted out. <laughs> All rusted out. And it wasn't even the straight line, like if it, like heels that you have to go through. And the kids look at me with these disappointing eyes. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe they got the horses. Oh, yes, we do. But you cannot get them to those until in the morning. We have to ask them to bring them out. And it's going to be really difficult because of the weather. <laughs> they were so disappointed until this day. They haven't forget it, which that was my promise. You're never going to forget this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <Seven>. funny. <laughs> and I don't have any like specific any trips or anything that you were like, oh man, this is really awesome. I know it, it's got to all kind of go together. Yeah, because yeah, I don't know nothing like our first time doing anything. I just mm. did. I was with you guys all the time, so like everything yeah. was just yeah. I, I can't think. Yeah, that of is any. a hard question. It's yeah. very general, but it's a good question though. Um. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to scroll to the next page. How was Victor as a child? Was he well-behaved or a wild child? Oh. He was her boy. <clears throat> he was her boy, yeah. He um, he liked to run and climb like every kid, and he always got hurt. But he was well-behaved. I remember when they were, like, little, like, maybe I would say two and three and we used to go to parties and other kids were in there and they look at me like, Mom, they're not behaving. They used to tell me they were really good kids mm-hmm. growing up. It was really good. Okay. Um, let's see. Do you get any... Does Victor's mom get any alone time? Um, do you get any... I guess, do you... With where you live, do you get any alone time? <laughs> where do I live in Puerto Rico? <laughs> I thought it was. I'm trying maybe, to maybe they meant did he get in, maybe they to, meant did she get any alone time with Victor oh, while she's here? No, I think. Oh, okay. Jimmy's oh. right. I read it wrong. <laughs> I guess I don't really understand it. I'm not sure if it means in Puerto Rico or hold on. Um, a lot of Big Brother questions, so I'm just trying to go through these. Okay, do you guys think Arrow looks more like Victor or? Nicole when they were babies I think it's go ahead and answer that I think he looks like Nicole with Victor's eyes that's what I think I think for the longest time that he looks just more like your guys family than Victor but I saw that picture on Facebook the other day that Mm -hmm. I should post it and it's like yes he looks like Victor yeah, it's, and that's we, you know, because Victor and Nicole don't look alike. But I'm wondering if they're going to start to look alike. I was just talking Wait to time. Gretchen about this that husbands and wives, when they're together, they just start everybody starts blending and looking alike. But yes, but I can see both of them in them. But I think when I pull out my kids' pictures, he looks so much like them that it's crazy, and it's the blonde hair too. Yeah, it is. Okay, I, I one more question. Only one more other question. A lot of them were Big Brother questions and. Um, the other thing was, which I don't even know, this is weird to ask, maybe we'll have to cut it out, because I don't know, um, Gretchen will <laughs> her eyes. Did you ever think that Victor would marry a gringa? A gringa? <laughs> That's what they asked. <laughs> yeah. That's what they, well, to be honest, I never, like, I never knew what he was going to do. Like, yeah. it wasn't. Yeah, it um, wasn't, it's not like a big emphasis, just yeah. whoever you thought. Yes. As long as somebody was nice to him. Mm-hmm. I will be fine. But then um, after Big Brother, he came home and he was kind of, I wasn't, I wouldn't, he wasn't like, he was like all over the place because, you know. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah, for sure. He was basically, when you come off that show, it's like, you're like famous, but you're not famous. And you're like, what do I do with myself? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and boys are kind of like more like, okay, this is awesome. Let's like, let's go have fun. Every opportunity. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. let's take it. So um, once he started dating you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nicole, 
you like center him. Mm-hmm. And I was so happy, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful because he found you. Yeah. And you were it. So, mm-hmm. yes, I, I, I don't care what race are you mm-hmm. or where you, as right. long as you make him happy and you do so. I'm happy. Yeah. And, and this is so funny because when she first, and I, that, that when she met Victor, that was already her second go around. So I'd already dealt with the first go around. So I had known like what it's like. So Nicole came up pretty normal, even the first time and the second time she, even after she'd won, she came home normal, but no, we normal. Were, then, and that's not the bad way. She just means like, I didn't like to go like to all the parties. No, and, but you did. Is you that what you mean? I meant like, I didn't feel pretty you weren't worried about like the yeah the, the hype of the famous stuff. You came back just like you went in, is what I'm saying. But when she did, Victor would call. This is the funny part about Victor. We were out to eat at Rachel's where we just wait, and I remember this call because it's so funny. And he always Facetimed her, and it was like I could hear it because we were so close, and she had lived at home then. I and she talks on speaker half the time. I always knew like their relationship, and it was so funny because it was flirting. It's like this, and then he's like. Hey Nicole, he called out hyper. I don't. I think he was in a car, and he's like, "She's like, I'm out to eat with my family," and he's like, "Hi," you know, to all of us. And he's like, "Out there," and he says, "Okay, if we're still not remember that deal we got, if we're not married by the time by thirty by thirty, if we oh haven't my. each found our person, we're gonna get married." <laughs> and it was like, it was I'm so, like, yeah, yeah, okay. And we were laughing, and Dave like thought he was funny and stuff. And I swear, it was like that phone call, and he was up here. He came to visit like a week later, and I, he'd basically never left. So they didn't wait till they're they don't 30 is just coming now for you yeah. but that was just so funny and because it was like i know that when he came off the show like mm-hmm. i think he needed to go through all those experiences mm-hmm. and have fun and like go i think him and paul did some like touring stuff or whatever right like meet and greets and stuff and yeah. i think like that it was great for him because then I think it kind of led him back to me. To, yes, yes. Like if had he not, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, he had to go through that Timing's before. everything. Mm-hmm. So. And it's not that it was a bad thing. I'm no, not saying it was a bad thing. It, it's just yeah. like, um, mm-hmm. like he didn't know what to do. Yeah. You know? And and I find that actually with a lot of people who come off the show, like it's very common for, for that. Um, like, what do you do? I mean, there's so many opportunities, right? And it's exactly. just like, what direction do you want to go? And exactly. there's so many... It's overwhelming. But in that year, you guys built up, before he came up, you guys built up a, quite a big friendship. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I, okay, so when I first saw Victor on the show, I was like, he's very cute and, you know, like very cute, but I was like, he looks like trouble, right? So then I just like told myself like, no, 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 no. And then um, once I figured out how good his like heart was, you know, he has a very big heart. And I was like, okay, yeah, he's very sweet. And then he was just very persistent for a year. And then once, yeah, you guys know how it went but, down. But, but when we saw that, when I saw the video of him, be, like after Nicole was cast, and I was looking through the cast just to see, like, because I'm like, oh, is she going to do good? Because there was only four re- re- the returnees and stuff. I said, oh, no, she's going to she's gonna come home with Victor as her boyfriend. So that was <laughs> what was really oh, weird. Yeah? Oh, yes, it was we were sitting because that is my t- that is my type. <laughs> well, would they interview me uh, for Big Brother? I don't think they show it. They ask me, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, he liked Nicole. There's not <laughs> there, there's no way around that. Like he he does like it. You can tell. You can tell. Yeah. And then we are the kind of people that we're touchy feely. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed? Mm-hmm. We like oh, yeah, we talk yeah, yeah, to you yeah, and yeah. we touch. And then and I'm like, oh yeah, he likes her. The way he he's yeah. around her, you yeah. can tell. Mm-hmm. I knew it too. He just wouldn't admit it then. And then it was kind of like, then he didn't, the funniest thing is that he didn't vote for me to win, but his best friend was there. So I understand. And now it's just kind of like, that's a running ho- joke now. It's yeah. hilarious. Like if Arrow ever watches that, just like, Dan, you didn't vote for mom. Like what the <laughs> it's, a good, the, it's funny because it's funny because you won, but if you had a loss by oh, that one vote, I would that would like, not, that would not be like that a, would not be funny. a running joke anymore. But because of that, it's no hilarious comments. because of that. Because of that. No yeah. comments. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, oh my gosh. Do you guys have any last things that you wanted to say or wrap up on? Or how's your time been up here, Gretchen? Oh, um, I love your house. Oh my God, I love the pan. Well, by the way, I catch... The most fish. The most fish yesterday. <laughs> by now, a lot. I, when I was looking at the picture, you got a, you got some nice ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I enjoy uh, spending time with Nicole... With Jenny, with the family, with uh, Baby Arrow, and of course with Victor. He was working the weekend, but that's fine. Um, we spent time this morning. We got a huge breakfast. So 
I'm still full. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was it was great. It was great. I'm planning on coming back in October. Yeah. You have me. So. That's a good good time. I told her to come up to this fall is nice. As long as it's not snowing, you never know what you're gonna get. But yeah, it should be pretty good. I told her time. we'll have a Halloween Halloween party. We'll do Wizard of Oz point two. <laughs> <laughs> um you forgot before we go off though, um what? I got to tell oh, her story. No, the story about oh, her gosh, and her, her chicken. Weird. Yeah, this is this is. You guys have to listen up to this. Okay, I wasn't here, so I'm gonna listen too. Well, Victor's the one that told me. Okay, so Gretchen, how did you go? Gretchen's like, I'm gonna just deny it. Okay, okay. you gonna tell it? Are you gonna tell it? <laughs> Are you gonna tell it right? Are you gonna tell it right? <laughs> about the seasoning of the meat? Yes. Okay, I was uh, making pollo guisado, which is like chicken stew. Um, no, actually, it wasn't uh, chicken stew. I was making the chicken breast. Oh, yeah, for the salad. Yes, and I season with my Puerto Rican seasoning, the the adobo, the sofrito. This Puerto Rican stuff. But <laughs> before I put it on the pan to fry, I have to taste it. I have to taste the seasoning. So I touched the breast, and I put it on my tongue, and I taste it. <laughs> and my son turned around and said, like, Ma, what are you doing? <laughs> and I heard him. I was sitting in the office, and all I heard was, oh, my God, that's so gross. I'm going to tell Nicole. And Gretchen's like, no, don't tell her. He's like, I'm telling her. And he's like, Nicole, you'll never guess what my mom just did. I'm like, what? She licked her finger after seizing the raw chicken breast. I was like, no, she didn't. She's like, he's like, yes, she did. And Gretchen's like, how would I not know what it, I gotta know what it tastes like. She says she, and she says she does this all the time and she's never gotten sick from licking the raw chicken, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't lick the chicken. I licked my finger. <laughs> that was touching the chicken, touching the raw chicken. Yeah. And then when they said we have to discuss this today, she said she's going to, what was your, what were you going to say? No, I'm doing this. <laughs> she didn't understand what we're talking about. So since she had to tell the story, she couldn't deny it. Is that a, is that a weird or normal? Maybe there's other people who do that out there, Gretchen. Oh, I honestly, like, I don't know. You, Ashley, could, mix the, her, you could mix the seasoning in a bowl before said. it's on the chicken and then taste the seasoning. I but. know that's what Victor said, but I've never done that. <laughs> Because you said Ashley, your daughter called you oh, out before she, too, she right? She got me too, and she was saying the same thing that that's, that's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> but is that it then, Mom? Yeah, we can save all the. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, one more thing. Today mm-hmm. is Jaylee's birthday. Oh, it is. Happy yeah. birthday, Jaylee. How old yeah, is she? She's going to be. Seven, I oh, believe. I hope, I hope it's seven and not eight. <laughs> and when Ashley was up here and she found out you were still going to be here for Jiley's birthday, she was like, oh, I'm going to say something. My mom's not going to be there for Jiley's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to say that because Jiley's like, Grandma, you're not going to be here. I'm like, yeah, I will say something. So. But you'll celebrate when you get back. Yes. Well, they don't. Well, she doesn't know that I'm going back to her oh, house. Oh, she doesn't. No, she oh, doesn't. I'm leaving from here to Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah. well, that's sweet. They're yeah. going to be surprised again. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you guys all so much for listening. And if you guys would um, go on to our Facebook page, you want to join our conversation. It's Coco Caliente Podcast on Facebook. It's a private group. Just hit join. And that's about it. Right, Mom? Yep. Okay. It. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. If you want to be the most interesting person at the cocktail party, well, hop on over and listen to the Brain Candy Podcast. Our award-winning content will have you laughing while you're learning. We read all the best articles, books, and studies, and keep up with new TV shows, documentaries, and pop culture. And then we cram it all into two shows a week. Conspiracy theories, cannibal rabbits, unsolved mysteries, the history of the Walkman. There's something for everyone. The Brain Candy Podcast. Find our link in the show notes. Or simply search for the Brain Candy Podcast on your podcast app.